What's up? It's Kellen from Movement Parallels Life, back to get weird with you. This is part five in our flow series. We're focused on bringing more flow and fluidity to these ground-based movements. Today's exploration is gonna focus on rocking up and sprawling. So these movements are gonna add some nice layers to our flow as we're working with more momentum and bringing a more dynamic energy to the practice. So if you've been following along with the channel, you're gonna be familiar with some of these variations. We're just gonna explore and expand on them further. As always, I want you to meet your body where you're at, work with the variations of these movements that works best for you, and then the elements that are a little bit more challenging, those are yours to continue to work on and unlock over the course of time. Once again, for the beginners out there, or really anyone who wants to brush up on the basics and build a stronger foundation in these ground-based movements, I wanna give a shout out to my free 10-day course, Ground Movement 101. That's gonna be the perfect introduction. The link is down below in the description, so make sure that you check that out. We're gonna start off with a quick warm-up, just some simple movements to give you the chance to check in with your body. I encourage you to take as much time in that process as you need to, there's no rush. Uh, feel free to press pause, take as much time as you need, and catch up when you're ready. After that, we're going to explore a series of different drills, exploring variations of lateral rolling, rocking up, and sprawling. Again, work with the variations of the movements that are right for you. Make the modifications that are right for you. Don't worry about moving exactly like I'm moving, but let my movements be a guide for your movements and your exploration. As we're going through these movements today, I want you to stay loose, relax, remember to breathe, stay curious, have fun exploring these patterns. Remember, you don't need to be perfect straight away. This is all a work in progress and ongoing exploration. So the process is every bit as important as the end destination, probably more important. It's all a part of the learning process. Let's enjoy it. Let's get in starting with our warm up. We're gonna begin on our backs today. From supine, bring your legs into a tough position. Arms can extend overhead. And we're gonna start with an easy roll here. Keep some stabilizing tension in your core, just to give yourself some stability as you lay your knees from side to side. So from lying face down, you can open with the arm, reach across, use the reach to drive the roll to supine. All I want you to focus on right now is being able to smoothly link together these rolls and have full control through the entire range of motion. And giving yourself a chance to slow down and really stretch We'll be back to this movement later. And right now, just using it as a way to Build some body awareness, get some ground contact, and check in with your body. Rock your way up to a sitting position, and you can hold on to the fronts or backs of your knees. And here, just going through some spinal articulation, sitting back, rounding, and then pulling forward, opening. Maybe tilt your head from side to side, check in with your neck. Bring your hands down towards your ankles or your shins. Sit up tall, release one hand, come into a rainbow reach. Big arc and reach overhead, back behind, and alternate from side to side. Release your hands, post them on the ground behind you. Keep your feet in place. Take your knees to swivel from side to side. And just check in with these ground sitting positions quick. After a few rotations, lay your knees to the side. Fold forward in the side sit. Sweep from side to side, take a few deep breaths. Switch over to the other side. Okay. 
then rise up, bring your back leg forward, come into a cross-legged sitting position. Lean forward if you want a little bit more of a stretch. Switch your cross. And sit back, extend your legs out to a long sit. Again, sitting tall, sitting with strength and adding a little bit of movement here, movement and breathing. Draw one leg in, half butterfly and switch. 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 Next, make your way onto hands and knees. Arms locked out, elbow pits spun forward, stabilizing tension through the core. Rock forward and back. Real quick through some of our movements to mobilize the hands and wrists. Wrists close together, fingers pointing out sideways, rock side to side. Come back to center, flip your hands over, rocks from side to side, maybe adding some presses. And then closing and opening your hands. Sit back to kneeling, turn your hands back, fingers facing you, elbows hug your, hugging inward, Bend your elbows down to touch your thighs. And then coming back onto hands and knees. Go with some of those lateral hip rolls. Shift your weight, sit to your hip, add a little push to smoothly roll across your glutes. So we're warmed up, we're checked in, we're feeling good. We're gonna start digging in on some of these drills, developing these pieces of movement, starting with our rock-up variations. So we're gonna begin with the figure four rock-up. Start in the supine position. Legs are in this figure four shape. So our same tucked rocking motion, but keeping the figure four leg position and using our momentum as we rock up to carry us all the way up to a half kneeling base. I'm gonna do this about five times on each side. Smoothly shift forward and sink into your hips. We're just finding a smooth rhythm and now switch sides. Two more. Now we'll switch from side to side. Rock up, rock back and switch. Get three more. and relax. Now we're going to rock up into this tripod position. From the hover, draw the straight leg underneath. We'll finish in a crouch or a split squat. So we're gonna groove this about five times. Rock up. And as you go through these repetitions, maybe adding a little rotation or playing around with some of the angles. One more.
Then we'll switch sides. Hover, draw in, set the foot, and finish the strong, stable position. Last one. And now let's alternate from side to side. Two more. And there we go, and we've got our rolling tripod. Next, we'll go to these three different variations of the rock up into a squat variation. So we're going through this first variation, just a simple rock up onto two feet into a toe squat position. Rock back, rock up, and pulling the heels in close to the hips, that's the key. Also reaching forward with the arms to pull our weight over our feet, to transition here onto the balls of the feet or our, our deep knee bender toe squat position. Then being able to start to round the spine, sit back and repeat. Let's get two more. If you're having trouble with that one, again, just a quick breakdown, some things that you can do to help yourself. Use your arms as you're rocking up. Pull your arms down to generate more momentum. As you're rocking up, pull your heels in as close to your hips as possible and simultaneously reach, try to open your knees and reach forward. You may need to exaggerate those movements a little bit more to kind of finesse this pattern, and that's fine. The more you can find success in the squat rock up, the more your body is kind of internalizing this pathway, developing it, carving it out until it will become like second nature. For our next variation, we're gonna rock up and transition into a split squat. So now the feet are more in line. One foot is gonna be really close to the hips. The other leg is gonna be slightly extended forward and you may be pulling forward from the heel. Same idea where you pull with the arms and reach forward to help pull your center of gravity over your new base of support, your feet. Let's get one more on this side. then rock back and switch sides. And maybe try a few alternating. Can layer in some of our squatting movements. Pause. And we can work with one more variation today, a rolling single leg rock up. As we rock up, one leg is gonna extend outward, the other leg is going to be pulled in tight. Again, we wanna plant the heels close to the hips as possible. Building the strength to stand up on one leg is a project in itself. If it's not there today, it's just something to work on. So you can try to stand up or maybe even just try to catch yourself in a balance, a stall here.
Let's try the other side. And maybe a few alternating from side to side. Next, we'll look at a dynamic transition from our feet to the floor. We'll call it a sprawl. We're going to start off in this toe squat position and begin with a backward sprawl. So the hands are going to plant, and we want to make sure that the palms are pressing into the floor, arms are locked out, strong, stable support, so we can shift forward and then dynamically extend the legs back and lower down to the floor. It was just the coordination of being able to manage that movement quickly and efficiently. On the way up, using some momentum here, we can arch and push, using that momentum to draw your feet underneath you, come back to the toe squat position. Let's do five of these, plant, shift, sprawl back, lower down to the floor. Scoop, push and jump in. Next, we'll link together the rock up and transition right into that backward sprawl. Lock back, lock up. Plant, sprawl back. Let's get five. rest. Next we'll look at the forward sprawl. Same general movement but slightly different intention, different feel to it. I think this one's a little bit more challenging. So I'll make sure the ground out in front of you is clear and at this point you're going to extend your arms and allow yourself to lean or fall forward. Reaching out for the ground with the hands and controlling your transition down to the floor. Make your way back to the toe squat. Then as you get more confident, you can lean and dive forward a little bit more. Let's get two more. And next, we'll try linking this forward sprawl variation with one of our lockups. We'll go with our rolling tripod. Lock up, tripod hover, step back to squat, forward sprawl. Let's get one more. And rest. 
So as we completed those sprawls, we were reversing to back out of the pattern. Now we'll link back in those lateral rolls as an alternative option. So from the sprawl, we're in this prone position, we can come back to rolling and make our transition that way. So we've got our relaxed reaching roll, whether we're leading that with the arms or the legs. You can sweep the arms around the floor or reach across. Continue to explore these relaxed rolls and you can also add in strict rolls. So begin in a tuck position. When you're ready, extend arms and legs, keeping them off the floor. Keep your core engaged. Use enough lean to generate some momentum, feed into that momentum to link a full roll together. Finish, you can come back to your tough position for a moment. Roll and pause. Again, extend, roll, roll through, and regroup. Let's do three more. Extend, roll, roll through, two, and last one. The rock-ups and sprawls are a little bit more well-defined in those techniques. The rolling tends to be a little bit more conceptual. There's some room to play, to explore. It doesn't have to be so exact but it's a matter of how smoothly and efficiently you're navigating this transition from lying on your stomach to lying on your back and how well you can work with your momentum to make that as smooth, balanced, and graceful as possible. So now it's that time in the practice where we pull the pieces together and focus on integration. Remember, this is a progressive process, so it's not simply taking all the things and trying to cram them into this small window of time, but to allow your body to take the lead. And what that shakes out to is working with the patterns that are currently available to you. There are gonna be works in progress and there's gonna be techniques that are your go-to, your bread and butter. At this time, I want you to focus on what you're comfortable with and find ease in the movements, find flow and connectivity. Let's start out in a supine position. Again, you can take this time and kind of wander, do your own thing, or follow along with me. I will call out and cue as I make the transitions. So we're gonna begin with some easy rocking and adding some rotation. Coordinating breathing with the motion and working these angles, using the obliques and the hips to drive rotation. Getting ready to rock up. Figure four. Tripod. Rocking up and sprawling. Lateral roll, rock up, forward sprawl. Turn over, rock up, rock up, stand, sprawl, turn over,
backwards roll, forward sprawl, turn over, back up, back up, Rock up and sprawl. Making our way into a sitting position. Taking some time to settle in, breathe and relax. Returning to some of our prep movements, allowing the body to come back to baseline. When you get into a flow with some of those patterns, you can feel your heart rate start to elevate. It becomes a little bit more intense because of the dynamic nature of those movements. So of course, give yourself some time on the back end to relax. Let your body, let your nervous system calm down. And once again, check in, give back to your body with these little movements and these stretches, whatever feels good for you. And of course, all of these positions that we find ourselves in if something feels good for you, if it feels like it's giving you a good stretch, good input, hang out there and take some time to explore. Add reaching, add twisting, add flexing and extending. So that's a wrap for today. Of course, if you're feeling it, I encourage you to continue moving or pick this up later on in the day. Don't let this be the last time in your day that you move. These patterns take practice, but the practice itself is constantly feeding your body movement goodness. So again, don't be discouraged if you couldn't do all the movements today. This simple practice, showing up, getting on your mat and exploring these patterns is doing you so much good. If you enjoyed the session today, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the links below in the description for other offerings. And if you know of a friend who loves to move, be sure to share this channel with them. I appreciate all your support, all your comments, all your good energy helping this channel grow. It allows me to take the time to keep pushing the envelope and trying new things like this series. So this was the fifth installment and we've covered a lot of different movements and the series has kind of evolved from what I originally had planned, but I love that, that's cool. And that's really symbolic of what happens when we're on the mat here. We can have an idea in mind, but when we stay open, when we stay curious, you never know what you can create. And that's what I wanna encourage you to do. Keep exploring, it doesn't have to have sets and reps or a specific goal, but the act of simply exploring your movement has a ton of value to it. So thank you so much for joining me today, for moving with me. Stay tuned because next time we're going to take all these movements from the flow series and bring them together into one practice. So you definitely don't want to miss that. So in the meantime, keep on exploring, keep playing, keep flowing, drink your water, get your rest, be kind to people and take good care of yourself. I'll see you in the next practice.